Well, we've been doing the uh, construction craft worker uh, level one program, which is uh, it, it entails lots of skills. Like there's concrete uh, involved, uh, form work, um, jackhammering, uh, everything. So we are involved with promotional material, getting that all developed, recruitment, interviewing. Um, we bring them in. We arrange all the transportation. We gear them up. We um, provide lunch, accommodations, transportation, you name it. We are um, a very comprehensive program, so we, we're involved in the whole thing. Came a long way. Um, I, was, I was a cook flipping eggs last year. I, I felt that uh, that wasn't for me. Each week they learn something different from uh, all the aspects of construction that we do as laborers out there in the field. This is a great stepping stone in the labor force, uh, being skilled and well trained. It just doesn't stop here. It, it's, the sky's the limit with this, really. Well, this training uh, is different because we're actually engaging with the Aboriginal communities around northwestern Ontario, and um, it's a chance for our union to incorporate them into our union and show them that there's a future for them. Yeah, I see this as an opportunity to, you know, build my community, build the people of my community, gain skills to better the community. Well, I wanted to upgrade myself. When I heard about this program, I decided I'd give her a shot and, and fill out an application and here I am. I'm seeing a real commitment and drive from people. I'm seeing people really want to come together and make a difference in their communities. And I'm seeing a lot of strong leaders, which is really encouraging. Graduating this course gives me a sense of accomplishment, like I can do anything now. Uh, so much doors have been opened up for me in the trade sector. When I look at the passion and uh, great satisfaction and pride in what they do and, uh, and that's what really motivates me as well. I'm proud to be here with my, uh, my fellow Aboriginal people and getting their input, giving my input on, to them. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud to be here. I have some friends and relatives back at home that uh, would be interested in taking this and I would like to go home and tell them all about it and get them motivated to come here and check it out. Yeah, this, all of this, I mean seeing people getting trained, seeing people like um, loving what they're doing, seeing them going to really solid careers, all of that, that's really what uh, brings me joy. For a few years I've just been kind of bouncing around job to job or unemployed. And I seen this opportunity and I heard great things about the program last year. So I figured, you know, I'll come bring, give myself a shot here. And, you know, I really enjoy it. I'm learning lots and uh, things are looking up. Um, primarily east of Thunder Bay around Lake Nipigon and Lake Superior. So we go as far as Mishpacotton, which is just around the Wawa area. Um, we are up in North um, Ingo Bay and then Rocky Bay. So um, a real variety. We work with nine different communities. Most satisfying for me is to see these guys leave here with smiles on their faces, especially after they've been afraid to operate different types of equipment. And when they realize that if they do their job safely, they can operate and do almost anything. So what really makes it exciting is the, is the connection I find between my trainers, our trainers, and, and the students. There's such a connection there. By the, by the end of the program, they're like, uh, they're like best friends. It, it, it's so awesome to see the smiles on their face, uh, it's, it's just a really good. Uh, it's a really good experience to see them on the graduation day. It's really awesome. Now that I've, I've graduated this program, I feel like I've accomplished something in my life. I feel I feel great. I feel strong. You know, I'm really looking forward to the future in construction.